Hey creators, welcome back to Sketch and Merge Design. Today we are diving into Flux Context, a powerful upgrade that takes AI generated designs to the next level. Now you might be familiar with the standard Flux AI model. It's great for generating quick ideas, but here's the thing. The standard Flux model does not let you edit text, maintain character consistency or scale designs efficiently. That's where Flux Context comes in. Inside this video, I'll show you how to use Flux Context through design.ai platform to render and edit text directly in your design, maintain character or design style consistency, quickly generate variations of your design for scaling up, and even edit specific parts of your design without having to regenerate the whole thing. So let's jump in. And for today's video, I'm using design.ai platform. You can watch this video on my channel to get acquainted of the design platform. It's a complete AI platform that provides image generation, video generation, and many other features that you can use for designing. And they even have a dedicated section for print and demand. You will find the link in the description that, that will take you directly to design.ai. From your home screen, scroll down until you find the print and demand section, and then you can press on the idea to design which will take you to the dashboard or the artwork where we are going to start creating our designs for today. As you can see, there is a prompt box that you can use to enter your prompt and they have multiple features on the left and they have many styles that you can use to generate images, but this is not the subject of today's video. For today, we are going to use the Flux Context on design.ai and to access the Flux Context, you have to do that through the AI image editor, which you will find on the left side. So once, press, once you press on it, you can upload the image that you would like to work on. So let's start by uploading one of the designs that I have created. Of course, you can create any design on design.ai using their image AI generation or get your own or get any other design from outside. And for our first example, I'm going to operate on this cute raccoon style. So upload your design and press on the chat editor and you will see that the image is uploaded to the prompt box and the flux context is chosen and you can change the aspect ratio from here so let's try to change the text the graffiti text on the wall and this is one of the first feature that we are going to highlight using the flux context which is editing text directly in your designs without changing the main design or the main design style so to do that just write the prompt i'm going to ask the flux context Context to change the text on the wall to gaming time while keeping the same graffiti style of the text and also let's change part of the design or edit the main design image by add asking it to make the raccoon holding a gaming controller on both hands finally i'm asking it to keep the raccoon keep the design colors as is and press on the generate button and after a couple of seconds the results will appear on the right side and as you can see the result is amazing the text is written on the wall in the same graffiti style game time while the raccoon now is holding a controller on both hands so comparing both designs it's exactly the same design style the same colors and the raccoon is not changed in terms of facial expressions or even color just the text was edited at the back wall and this is one of the powerful features of context flux context model that you can use for your print on demand business now let's also press on the chat editor and work on the image once again this time i'm going to write change the colors of the raccoon uniform from orange to red and also change any orange colors on the design to red while keeping everything else as is and press on the generate so we i'm trying to create another version or another colored version of the design which is also one of the features of the flux context and as you can see the result is perfect it's the exact design just in a different color the uniform is in red so just by prompting you can keep the same design while generating variations of colors so let's double press on the image to be
be placed or on, on our canvas. Again, let's press on the chat editor. And this time I'm going to create another variation of the design by asking Flux Context to make the raccoon to sit on a gaming chair while holding the console or the controller in, in hand while keeping the same design style. And I also asked it to remove the text on the back wall while keeping the raccoon facial expressions as is and press on the generate button. Again, the result is perfect. The exact raccoon is now sitting on a chair without changing any of the, the, the main character expressions or even colors or characteristics. Now let's go back to our home screen and let's upload a new design. Again, you can upload any design you want. And supposedly this is a design that I liked from the internet. I, I took a screenshot of it and I uploaded it to the design.ai platform. Again, using the same technique, open the AI editor and the chat editor box and write your prompt. Let's say change the main character's head to an elephant's head. So this time I'm just editing some parts of the design without having to change the whole character just the, just the head and also I asked it to change the upper text to be sentenced instead of wanted and I did generate the design twice and as you can see it's a great result the exact same character but in an elephant head and now the text at the top is changed to sentence but there is a typo in there we are going to fix this typo later and this is the second generated result is also perfect an elephant head but the colors of his eyes is orange this time i like both results by the way so let's use this one by pressing it twice and this will place it on our artboard and again the chat editor and this time let's try to change the colors or the main color of the elephant to green instead of light blue and let's see what we are going to get and amazingly we get a perfect result the design is kept as is it's only the elephant color is now changed from blue to green so the flux context provides a complete editing tool instead of using a photoshop or illustrator you can just write your prompt and it will do the edits for you while keeping the main design characteristics as is according to your prompt so we have an exact same design but in a different color now so let's try something else let's try to fix the upper text so this time i asked it to replace all the text colors to red and change the background color to white and again we get a perfect result all the text has been changed to red and the background is now white just with a simple prompt so it even changed the elements color some of the elements color like the like the globe at the bottom to red so that it, it would create contrast with the background colors with the background color so now now let's try to edit or to fix the upper text so change the upper text to mm -hmm. so change the upper text to punishment while keeping the same font style actually let's change it to imprisoned instead of punishment and let's wait for the result and again we get a perfect text this time with correct spelling in the same design style and in the same font style used in the original design now let's select the image and press on the chat editor again and this time we are going to add Add the design to a mock-up so simply write a prompt that says added this design to a model t-shirt or to a model wearing a white t-shirt or um, to a white mock-up whatever you like so I'm going to ask it to add this design to a male model white t-shirt and press on the generate and again one of the greatest features of flux context is the ability to keep the design as as is while adding it to a mock-up with just a simple prompt and as you can see the design is exactly the same without any changes in the style in the colors or even the text while the design is now added to a main mock-up and this is one of the things that the flux model struggled to do to our next feature of the flux context again to you can go from your home screen and this time we are going to use the start from an image button and this time we are going to test the scaling technique so this is a design that i have uploaded so again press on the chat button and this time i'm going to completely change 
the design niche so let's assume I'm, I, I like this design but I would like to generate another version of it for the gaming niche so I'm going to write a prompt that adds some elements to the design to make it more suitable for the gaming niche and my, my prompt says change the skeleton from smoking to holding a game controller or a handheld gaming console and replace the text from saying the talker to the grinder while keeping the same text style and press on the generate button and we got what we wanted a new design the same text style with the same font but the text is changed now the skeleton is holding a game boy on his hands and some hearts and some cans are around him while he's sitting on a chair so with a simple prompt you can create or generate another variation of your design for for scaling it without changing the whole design so let's press on it twice to be placed on our artboard and again i'm going to write some prompts to add some elements or to make the design more suitable for gaming so remove the smoke coming out of the skeleton out of the skeleton's mouth change the game boy in his hand in his hands to a controller to a game controller and change the beanie color to red and headphones around the skeleton's head and this time we get even a better result so you can keep adjusting your design by changing separate parts or separate elements from the design without having to redesign or recreate the design from scratch so the skeleton is kept in the same style same position while now he's wearing a red beanie with headphones around the head and if you would like to have it optimized and ready to use you can use the upper menu to remove the background from the design so just press on the background remove and the background will be removed automatically so this layer has now no background so let's hide all the other layers to see the design without the background and as you can see the design looks now perfect you can simply download it and you use it on your print on demand platforms and let's do one final prompt to this design so i'm going to add ask flux context to change to change the text color to red and press on the generate button and the result is perfect the text is now in red but let's also add it to a mock-up the black t-shirt mock-up to see how it is going to look like but this time we are going to change the style of the mock-up to a stand to a t-shirt uh, a standalone t-shirt mock-up instead of a model and press on the generate button and the design mock-up is generated on a standalone t-shirt perfect mock-up display and the design is exactly as is without being changed and this was also another another powerful tool of the flux context features now moving on let's do some extreme text replacing edits so this is one of the hard tasks a text in this style the word smile looks very nice in some specific written in some specific colors and style so what we are going to do now is to use this text style and test the flux context to do the exact same text style while replacing the, the text itself so my prompt says replace the text smile with the text art while keeping the exact or the same text style font atmosphere colors and and text shadows or highlights and press on the generate button let's see what we are going to get and we get a perfect result it managed to convert or to, to replace the word smile with the word the word heart with the word smile while keeping the exact style and the exact colors to the design and this is another example of a complex text it says black hollow it's like a heavy metal design so what we are what i'm going to do is to ask the flux context to replace the text black hollow written on the original design to dark angel i try to make it as simple as possible i mean replacing two words with two words and since this is a complicated text style i hope i can get i would get the same result so i'm asking it to keep the same font style and while keeping the same font atmosphere and text design and colors and press on the generate button 
page and again the result is amazing we got a replace text the same exact text style and text atmosphere and characters of the letters on the new design so let's add this design to our mock-up but this time the mock-up is also going to be different i'm going to ask it to add it to the back t-shirt of the the model of a male model in a party atmosphere and let's see what we are going to get and we got a perfect mock-up image very professional on a male mock-up in a party atmosphere similar to the prompt now for our final feature this for this video i'm going to use one of the cool styles or the cool designs that i found it's a stay cool be yourself with this cute fungus in the middle the character style fungus with hands and legs so what i'm going to do is to try to generate multiple designs similar to this one with the exact word exact text but in different niches and different styles so i'm going to ask it to create a character using the same style so it's like generating new characters out of this design but i'm going to keep the same text so replace the character in the middle of the design with another character in the similar style but made of a pineapple so instead of a fungus i'm going to ask it to use a pineapple character so imagining that you're using your design to try to approach another group or another niche or to create variations of it using uh, targeting the same niche so the fungus the pineapple and we can try an uh, uh, an apple or maybe can try some animals but the most important thing is to use the same style of the character and the same text it's important to change the colors of the characters also if needed so we got a perfect result again amazing result with the same style and this time it's a pineapple so let's try to change the prompt i'm going to use an animal so it's the same exact prompt but i want it i want the character to be a cute cat again it's important to have the cat in the same say, style the same similar style then press on the generate button and as you can see on the right side we got, we got a nice cute cat it's really lo lovely design i can definitely use this design for t-shirts and flux context easily replaced the character with a very similar cat so this for the final design i'm going to ask it to create a cute crocodile also in the same style and we got our crocodile very close to the cat and the original design let's add this final design to a female t-shirt this time so add this design to a female white t-shirt mock-up and again we can define the atmosphere of the the shot so let's say while the model is standing outdoors in a park uh, and we got a perfect mock-up image of our design so let's download the design in an svg format let's simply press on the download button and choose the svg and press on the vec vectorize so if we open the downloaded svg format in adobe illustrator for example you can see that you can move any part of the design separately and if you move the design to the side you can ungroup it and remove the background by simply selecting it and deleting it and you can change any part or any colors easily since this is an svg format so that was a quick tutorial on how you can use the flux context through design.ai platform to render and edit text directly in your design maintain character or design style consistency across multiple designs quickly generate variations of your design for scaling and edit specific part and edit specific parts or colors and edit specific parts or colors of your design without having to regenerate the whole thing so if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe for future tut tutorials thanks for watching